So we got Maxine here from Lionsgate A24 Films. It's been out for a hot minute. I'm just now getting around to actually reviewing it, although I did see it when it originally came out, and I revisited it again for this review. I'm a big fan of Ty West. I like his movies. Uh, I like his movies when a lot of people kind of didn't like his movies, when he was kind of considered to be a little bit more on the hipster side. I still like Ty West. Uh, X, this is, of course, the third in the trilogy of the X films. I thought X was great. No, I, I didn't like Pearl. And this one is definitely more along the lines of X than it is Pearl. But uh, it's still with its flaws a little bit, although there is some good gore at times and whatnot. It kind of does the Tarantino a little bit. It kind of borrows from a certain time period. So then in this particular uh, movie, Maxine here, Surviving the Events of X, is in the adult porn industry. And she's trying to make her way into the horror industry. So she's doing that. And at the same time, you have these uh, Night Stalker killings that are going on. And they're getting pretty close to her. And, of course, as things progress, you figure out what exactly is going on. Whether it's the Night Stalker or whether it's something completely different. Uh, at times, it's really great. At times, it's fun. At times, it's it's bloody and brutal. And that's great. It's got Kevin Bacon in it, which is random. Um, but there's times where it just kind of seems a little redundant. And it seems like it kind of falls flat. Especially, I think, the last part of it. Things just seem a little bit too... I don't know. I feel like we're kind of... I, I feel like we're taking the character of Maxine and we're putting her on this level that probably she's really not on. And, and you kind of give her a little bit of uh, leeway in situations where anybody else probably wouldn't have been able to pull it off, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, not not a, not a disc against Mia Goth, who I believe is a great actress. But it's just... Uh, it's two and a half out of five for me. It, it's good... Um, maybe watching back to back with X might be good. Maybe just skip Pearl and watch back to back with X. Unless you're just one of those people that just love Pearl, and I definitely was not one of those people. But it does have blood in it, and it's fun, and it's Ty West. And, you know, Ty West has a certain charm to his movies. So, nonetheless, here's what you get with this you get you a nice little slipcase if you get it when it first comes out. We got The Belly of the Beast. We've got Triple X marks the spot. Hollywood is a killer. QA with writer director Ty West. Teaser trailer and theatrical trailer. You'll have a digital code in your copy of this if you pick it up. It also comes in 4K. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get one of those. I only got the Blu-ray. But there it is without the slipcase. Pop it open. Your two-disc. Nothing too fancy or in the ordinary other than that. This is available now. Uh, if you go to Walmart, you'll find it. Um, probably be the only place you find it since I think, you know... Didn't Target get rid of all their stuff, or they're in the process of it. So, yeah, Walmart online. It's your only hope now. Or if you can find, like, a second-hand place or mom-and-pop place is still around. But, yeah. Uh, it was okay. wasn't the best. I know a lot of people have it on their best list. For me, it was just okay. 